Hey guys, today we will see order and group in link. By order, we can basically sort our data in ascending or descending order. And in grouping, we can group together the data on the basis of specific condition. First, in this lecture, we will see order. As I have already mentioned that we use order for sorting our data. Now we can sort our data in different ways. Like we can use order by and then by. Order by we use to sort our data on primary column and then by will be used for the secondary column. For example, we we have all the same values in our primary column then it will be uh, sorted by our secondary column if we use then by clause we will see these both the concepts in detail next we will discuss order by descending and then by descending in it and in ordering we will also discuss reverse clause now let's see these all the clauses in a query in a coding example in our first query let's see order by and then by let's declare a variable student DP context dot students dot order by now first I need to decide that on which basis I need to sort my data so I'm selecting here a name next I'm going to use then by and in then by close I'm going to sort my data on the basis of ID basically then by method after order by to sort the collection on another field link will first sort the collection based on primary field which is specified by order by method and then sort the resultant collection in ascending order again based on secondary field specified by then by method so one thing you need to remember here is that order by and then by both are sort our data in ascending order and next we will see order by descending here again I'm going to declare a variable student descending now db context dot students dot order by descending here again I'm sort my data using name attribute but now in descending order and uh, in case of order by descending again I can use then by descending on id so this is the way these both ascending and descending order we implement in link now let's print these both the queries to see the results to see the clear difference between both the descending and ascending query i'm going to write the separator between them as you can see first query sort all the names in ascending order and second query sort all the names in descending order then last clause we can use for sorting our data is reverse clause let's use it in our query now i'm going to perform reverse clause on our student descending selection it will basically reverse the result our last name will be on top and first name will be on last so it refers the entire selection one thing you need to keep in mind is that we can perform reverse clause only on our local query we can't perform it on our interpreted queries let me show you its result after printing it you can see that our descending order data is again converted into ascending order why because we perform reverse ordering on it second we will explore group in link this group by method basically does the same thing as the group by clause does in sql query this method takes a flat sequence of elements and then organize the elements into groups based on a particular key or uh, attribute now let's clear its concept a little bit more by implementing it in our coding example let's have a variable students then store students list in it db context dot students dot to list now i want to group all those students who have the same phone number like i want to implement the grouping on the basis of phone number now let's see its value in debug mode as our total number of students are 15 but if we see grouping then we have five number of groups on the basis of same phone number our first group based on the phone number triple five one two three four and in this group we have three students so we use group by method to group our similar data hope you understand the sorting and grouping in link if you have any question or query you can ask in comments thanks for watching